gotta admit, I did fuck with you guys a little bit there. I was not sitting on the balcony for a long period of time, dramatically sipping my coffee and watching the city roll by. I lasted about five seconds. It's 20 degrees, I'm actually in Boston. <laughs> See, cute boy. Shh, don't tell anybody. I drank like, so the hotel that I'm staying at gave me like a bottle of wine for my room. And I drank the entire bottle last night, was not drunk at all, and I'm not puffy. Am I puffy or am I just, I don't know. I brought my ice roller, but it's not cold, so I don't think it's gonna do anything. But does it still like, you know what I mean? I don't know, I completely smashed that fucking hippie rock that I had, so I'm really sad about that, but it's okay. I will get past it. I brought my little deep puffer mask in case I black out and I wake up 300 pounds, because that's never fun. Especially when I'm with people, I will never, I won't leave the room all day long. So I think the wine is not non-alcoholic because I didn't wake up puffy, and that's sort of concerning. Or I'm going through a big break in my life, and some things are going right now. Oh no, there's that's wine. Boston I, all the time I didn't bring the bird this time so I feel like a terrible mommy right now but he is in good care with with city boy Jordy so it's okay um, I've been holed up in this rock and roll retro hotel for close to 24 hours now like listening to records and like <laughs> using a typewriter Getting, okay, <laughs> my dream came true last night and I'm gonna tell you guys what the dream was and how it came true, but you can't tell anybody. It's a little TMI, but when am I not TMI? I had sex to Machine Gun Kelly last night. I did. And we were like, <laughs> I've always wanted to have sex to Machine Gun Kelly. That's just been a dream of mine. Did anybody else have like, <laughs> I never had one personally, but when I was younger and like my friends started like having sex and stuff like that, like when we were like first like being like sexual with boys and stuff, my friends had sex playlists. Like the first time my girl, I'm not gonna say her name, but my, <laughs> the first time she had sex, she was like pumped. Cause she was like, y'all, I got to use my sex playlist and we listened to like the weekend while we fucked. And I was just always like, I don't have the confidence to be like, oh, hold up. Before you put your dick in me, I'm just gonna put on a fucking Spotify playlist. Like, I've just never done that. I am, so apparently, <laughs> apparently, I don't know why I laugh ever after every word that I say. I'm, I apologize. I just can't ever take myself seriously when I'm speaking words out of my mouth. Um, so we're getting like a blizzard. I'm in. Bo I just said I'm in Boston. You know I'm in Boston. We're getting a blizzard tonight and, and tomorrow, and apparently we're getting like two feet of snow, right? But me and the cute boy are driving to New Hampshire tonight to stay at an Airbnb with all of his friends. And yes, I'm actually terrified, mortified, scared, nervous, anxious. I might hold myself up in my bedroom the entire time, or. I might be social. We don't know yet. I don't know the vibes yet. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing, but that's not the point. I don't know how we're gonna make it in the snow. And if I get snowed into a house with 10 plus people, I might scratch the skin off of my body. So who knows? Cute boy has work today until like, he was supposed to have work until like five. So he, the other day he was like, yo, like, I feel bad that you're just gonna be like sitting in Boston all alone on Friday. Like, do you want to, drive up to New Hampshire with my friends and I'll just meet you there. I was like, wow, um, <laughs> how do I explain this without sounding like a bitch? Um, I would rather die. Like, <laughs> I, <laughs> I was like, I'm very excited to meet your friends. And like, he like loves his friends. Like he's just one of those people that's like obsessed with his friends, like big part of his life. I was like, I'm excited to meet your friends. And like, I'm excited that I'm going, but if I, and I'm stuck in a car with them without you for three hours, I might have to bring an entire handle of vodka and that's just not gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen. I would rather sit in Boston alone. Great thought, imagine. I was like, I told Jordy, I was like, dude, he just like suggested that I like 
that I let go with his friends and Jordy was like, oh. This might be a cum rag. <laughs> Possibly, I, I'm not, it's not for certain. This could be a cum rag. It doesn't, I almost just said it doesn't smell like a cum rag, but it kind of does. Do I care? No. I will, oh, big stretch, big stretch for a big cat. <laughs> I miss my animals. I'll sit in bed all day and read if I don't force myself to get up. So I think it's great that I'm vlogging because if I wasn't vlogging, I would not get up all day. I'm on a Stephen King kick. This is the book I'm reading right now. I just started it, Insomnia. I've read like four Stephen King books in a month. Um, this is my fourth. And it's really good so far. I am exhausted. I don't know why. So I feel like we could walk to a coffee shop together. It's literally like 15 degrees outside and I really didn't bring like winter clothes. I brought a jacket, but it's not giving. So I'm gonna see if there's any coffee shops around so we can go get coffee together. There's like free coffee at this hotel, but like, I want a fancy coffee. I just went on Google to um, look up coffee shops near me and the last thing I looked up was Harry Styles three nipples. Harry Styles has three nipples. If anyone didn't know that, that is common knowledge though. So you probably did know that. But just in case you didn't, I wanted to let you know that Harry Styles does have three nipples and I am attracted to that heavily, so. Future Tower, how did it go? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. I always talk to my future self while I'm filming vlogs. I'll do a little like, Future Tower, like, what's going on, girl? Damn, it's a three minute walk. Okay, let's go to, let's go to Pavement Coffee House, whatever the fuck. <laughs> I love these sweatpants. That's where I'm like stripping in front of you guys. I love these sweatpants, but the issue is there is no pockets. I don't know why there wouldn't be pockets in a pair of sweatpants. It really throws off the whole thing, but I love them. Um, if anyone goes to Redwood and your mascot is the Vikings, great sweats, but add some pockets, bub. I'm sort of okay, like, vlogging in public and, like, on, like, the East Coast because no one like really knows what I'm doing, so they're not like judging me and it's okay. In LA, like everyone knows exactly what I'm doing. Oh, another bitch trying to make it on YouTube, like good luck, like. And everyone just like knows, and I don't like when people know. I like when people are like curious, like oh, what's that girl doing, that's different. In LA, that is not, I think that's what it is. I think I like, I, I am obsessed with the fact that I want to be different. <laughs> I'm like one of those girls, like I'm just like different. So like. <laughs> When I'm in LA, I'm like, I want to be different. So I like don't vlog in public. I think that's what it is. Thumbnail. Hi, sorry to interrupt your regularly scheduled program, but I have something to say. There is a boy walking by my window and I literally just thought he, he can hear me, and that, which is even more awkward than it should be. Wow. So I wanted to say thank you to Babbel for sponsoring today's video, but I have a funny story. So Babbel is like this website um, that has classes where you can learn like a new language, like Spanish, French, Italian. Chinese, whatever you want. Um, and last night I was like, oh, I'm just gonna go and like take like a, a lesson or two and like see what it's all about. Like I took French in high school and I wanna like visit Paris soon. So I was like, let me like choose French. I'm gonna like learn French, but I'm just gonna like do a few lessons. <laughs> I blew through 15 lessons and took notes. I took notes. Like y'all, it was fun as hell. Like I had such a good time. And I'm gonna do it again as soon as I'm done with this. I'm, I'm on like course two and I've done 15 lessons to learn French. So I'm gonna be fluent in a few months, whatever. When you sign up for Babbel, you can choose a subscription just for the Babbel app, which lets you learn at your own pace and it includes app-based lessons, games, podcasts, videos, 
or you can choose Babbel Live, which gives you everything that you can get in the app plus live online classes with amazing language teachers. I haven't tried the live yet, but I'm definitely going to. I like like, I don't like talking to people, so I like um, like my little lessons and you can like do it at your own pace. As you know, I went through 15 lessons last night, so. The fastest way to learn a language is to actually speak it. Babbel Live gives you a safe, healthy environment where you can practice having conversations with actual people while getting feedback from great language teachers. Speaking of teachers, they're all amazing. <laughs> they're smart, highly qualified educators with fun, engaging personalities, and they're great with newbies. Also, which is really cool is each class is limited to six people, so you don't have to worry about getting lost in like a million students. And there are classes available every day at different times, so you can choose whatever works best with your schedule. It's also like cheaper and less stressful than like going somewhere and taking a language class. like. If I had to like enroll to like a school or like go somewhere to do it, like I probably wouldn't do it, but this is so easy. You can literally do it in bed. Plus you also get a 20 day money back guarantee. What I have realized is I struggle with learning languages. I took French for three years in high school and I did not learn anything. So I am gonna be trying Babbel Live today because I feel like that's just like the quickest way to actually speaking it. It is a bigger investment, but I, in my opinion, I think that that's worth it. So that's definitely what I'm gonna try to do. But the app is also like a great starting point for learning at your own pace. For a limited time, you can get an exclusive discount on both the Babbel app and live. You just have to click the link that's in my description. I'll also put it right here and you can get 40% off. That is 40% off of your subscription if you click the link in my description. I just wanted to include this little screen recording to show you what the app looks like. So this is the courses tab where you can see I completed my whole first course and they do little like parts and reviews. So make sure you know everything. This is the little live tab where you can book um, teachers and you can book classes to do like an actual live class, which I will be trying today. And yeah. Thank you so much to Babbel for sponsoring today's video and for getting me back into like school <laughs> like I haven't learned a damn thing since I left college so this is fun and this is like inspiring me to like take a trip to Paris soon right let me try to say a sentence really quick I'm just gonna say I'm gonna say I'm just gonna say nice to meet you my name is Tara enchanté enchanté je m'appelle Tara look at me okay thank you guys love you so I used to be one of those crazy bitches that would like queue at concerts I've been to like I used to keep a concert list in my phone. I've been to like 150 concerts, but I used to be like a huge fangirl, so I would like go to like the little general admission concerts and I would queue in line for, the longest I ever did was two days for the Today Show to see One Direction. I queued for two days, but it was summer, so it was like not as bad. But the last time I stayed at this hotel, it was for a Miley Cyrus concert and she was performing at the House of Blues, which is like general admission. And it was dead winter. I queued from, five in the morning I got out there at five and we got let in at like 8 p.m. it was snowing and I was just sleeping on the sidewalk all day and that's the last time I've stayed at this hotel but I don't really remember it because I was a child I'm also having a hard time coming to terms with the fact that I might get snowed into a house with ten strangers that sounds like a panic attack for me Um, can I get a hot vanilla latte yeah. made with oat milk? So my mother tracked me down and found me. Um, <laughs> she was sitting, her and my stepdad were staying in New Hampshire and they were driving back today. So they're just, they're in my hotel room and they brought me a little gift from Zeb's. I don't know if you guys have ever been to like North Conway, New Hampshire, but there's this Zeb's candy store. And it's not just candy, like, I, I used to go to North Conway, like, a lot, and I would get these, like, little slingshots from Zeb's, because, like, every time I would watch a movie, I would, like, try to, like, be the character. So when I watched Hunger Games, I wanted to be Katniss Everdeen, so I was buying these slingshots, like, slingshotting, like, rocks in the woods to, like, I don't know what the fuck I was trying to do, but I'm going to do a little haul and see what they got me. <gasps> yeah. Paleo, gluten-free, vegan, northern berry harvest granola. Absolutely, thank God. Thank God. Ooh, Maine maple popcorn. I love popcorn. I have skinny pop like on my dresser right now. So this is perfect. Oh, I don't care what anyone says. Pez is the best candy. I don't know why I feel this way, but there's just some sort of like nostalgic 
almost medicine-like taste with Pez that just appeals to me, and I think it's the best candy to ever exist. And it's fun. The dispenser, like, come on. This is my small update. Just a small update. Before the rest of the video continues on, I'm scared. <laughs> Y'all know me. I'm stuck in a house with 12 people and I can there's no way of leaving. And I have my moments of happiness, don't don't worry, but I am stuck in a house with 12 people who started drinking at eight in the morning. And like, it's like fun and cute and like whatever, but like, but it like, don't get me wrong. Like I'm, it's, it's like fine, it's fine. I'm having a, a great time. I just can't wait to go home and clean the floors and tend to my animals. <laughs> Guys, okay, I'm gonna leave that in. Every time I film, I give myself a little like, hey, future Tara. This is what's going on. How'd it go? <laughs> so that was what that was. Matty Murphy. Then what? Then you don't drink it. It's a truly. I put a my gum left? in it. I put my gum in it. You put your gum in it? Well, it's useless now. Wait, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't. How do you mistake that? This is Maddie Murphy's legendary hat that he's waited so long for. Ordered it in September. Just came Wednesday on the, uh, what's this date? Let me check because I want to make sure. Mm -hmm. The 19th <laughs> of January. $70 for this hat, but he claims that he can resell it for it. Let me just show the people. A bit more. You break it, you buy it. <laughs> do you have a smaller head than me? Or do you um, just not You just have a lot of hair. <laughs> I don't. 220. Yeah, y'all are weird for that. I used to call Hermes, Hermes. I didn't know it was, Ar I didn't know it was Herm Hermes. So you said, what'd you call it? I didn't know it was Hermes. 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 I like Hermit the Frog? Kermit I didn't know it was Hermes. Hey Matt, what's the last time you tried CBD? Never. <laughs> never tried CBD? <laughs> Why are they saying that to me? <laughs> Sweet, I've never tried my CBD? You wanna I've been dying to try that. To I've been dying to try the CBD. Maybe it will calm me. Make me nice and mellow. I thought or it would calm me as well. Well, I'll turn zen, as you would say. Get very zen. Doubt it. Who wants to get all zen? I don't. <laughs> I'm already zen enough. <laughs> Whatever that even means. I don't think you're zen. <laughs> what, all right, give me the. the wait, what does that mean? Like the definition. Of what? Zen. Chill. Am I chill? What am I? <laughs> what am I? You're a little amped up. I get amped up. I'm with my boys. Yeah, I don't think you're you're zen. I'm pretty zen when I'm with you. No. Right? Mm hmm. Like when we're alone and stuff, I'm zen. But when my boys are here, it's game over. Mm-hmm. Sorry, going like an idiot. I can't wait to go home and clean. And touch the parrot. Hold on. Under his wings. This girl has lost <laughs> all, all four of these crack sticks, we call them. How do you have four of them four. right now? And they were all in front of her face. <laughs> like, in front of her face. She was like this. I <laughs> she was like, where is my puff bar? Okay, okay. It's some puff. Bar. Okay. Maddie, go find it. My head's like, oh my god, how did you see that? Because I use my eyes. Well, I amp you up over things like that because I can't believe that I can that see. You can see. Also, I came to New Hampshire with I four think. You forgot plum these. floats. Maybe you forgot these. Maybe you should use them. You'll prescribe those, no? Dropping these things. Holy <laughs> cannoli. <laughs> Holy cannoli. There you go. So oh, okay, I can, can you see him? <laughs> no shit. Right in front of your face. <gasps> Maddie Murphy? Yeah. <gasps> really? Yeah. Hi. Hey. What's going on? How's your mother? I don't see shit. This girl can't see nothing. Hmm. Losing her socks in the bathroom. <laughs> leaving her sweatshirt on the ground. People using it to dry their bodies and stuff. Yeah, that's normal. <laughs> I like that hoodie. Which one? The one that's in the bathroom, the yeah, brown one? Yeah, but people have been using it to wipe their feet, <laughs> dry their hands, you know? Might as well just throw it out. <laughs>